we've only dated for a short time. Maybe it would be better if I got my own place. So, what do you think? What's going on, Linda? Aren't we going to an art show? We? So who the hell cares about us sleeping together one time? You did what? Connor. I'm leaving. Connor. Don't follow me. Susan Cooper, you are under arrest for setting the mayor's house on fire. What? What? Guess the party's over. Morning. Morning. How did you sleep? How do you think? You do know that I had nothing to do with Susan's arrest, right? I believe you. Right now, I need to go to the office and figure out what to tell the press. You want my help? It's fine. I'm sure Pete's already there. Actually, he texted me that he's going to visit Susan. Right. I should get to work. Come in. Hey. Hey. I don't know what to say except that I'm sorry. You know, I'm not upset that you slept with your ex-husband before we met, but what bothers me is that you didn't tell me. I get that. You could have just told me. I just didn't want you to think less of me. Didn't you ever make a mistake like that? Actually, I still have a lot of things to do around here. Can we talk later? I'm actually on my way to see Susan. Maybe you should talk to Connor first. Right. If you want, we can talk tonight. I'd like that. You have got to be kidding. Nice to see you too. What are you doing here, Pete? Checking in on you. I'm fine. Amy's already looking for a lawyer, so you can go. Susan. Did you do this? Too late for me to deny it now. Susan. Look, I made a choice out of anger. I snapped, and now I have to deal with the consequences. I helped Valerie with her divorce, so please, let me help you now. Pete. Please. What do you think you're doing here? Connor, please, I came in peace. Was that your plan all along? Excuse me? Look, I get it. I'm the reason for destroying your marriage. But are you really that bitter that you had to get your revenge? Connor, this was not planned. And I'm supposed to believe you. I was married to Andrew for over eight years. It's not like I suddenly had no more feelings towards him. You still have feelings? I'll always have them, Connor. Those feelings are never going away. But, in the end, we're not meant to be together. But, you two are. Yes. Yes, it's fine. I'll do a short sit-down interview, but I need you to email me the questions beforehand. I need to approve them before, yes. Thank you. Bad time? No, I love arguing with reporters, Linda. What do you want? I came to say, you're welcome. You're welcome for what? What on earth should I thank you for? Who do you think recorded your friend Susan and gave the recording to the police? Are you kidding? You are welcome. What were you thinking? Who do you think you are, Linda, to make decisions like that? The person who paid for this house you and your husband are living in? You have completely crossed the line. Don't be dramatic. Your friend spends a couple years in jail, and I get the insurance money. You have lost your mind. I was helping you. Get out of my office. Brenda! Get out.
Pete? Hey, Valerie. Have you seen Susan? Yeah, I was just there. How is she? She said she's fine, but... Her case doesn't look too good. But she's innocent. Valerie. What? She's innocent, right? She admitted it right to my face. Are you serious? I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I do. I need a drink. Can I join you? Sure. I figured you'd be here. Andrew, I'm opening in an hour. I know. What do you want? I'm here to apologize. Right. Connor, I am so sorry. Listen, I never wanted to hurt you. But you did. I know, and I feel horrible, but I choose you. We have been through so much together. I suppose that's true. I will never take you for granted. Never again. But what I want to do, what I need to do is I need to take care of you for the rest of my life. Andrew. And, and I want to marry you. What? Connor, will you marry me? Oh my god, yes. So, how's your relationship going? You mean, after the drama at the art show? Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I can't believe Susan actually sent Brenda's house on fire. I know. I offered to be Susan's lawyer so she doesn't have to stay in jail. After all this, you're still there for her? I guess so. You really do love her. I do. For what it's worth, I do think you and Susan were a great couple. Thanks, Val. I think it's time for another drink. I agree. Hey. Brenda? I had nowhere else to go. Come in. I'll get you a drink. Why did you come back? To ruin my life? I was helping you. Yeah, by ruining my marriage. Please, you are perfectly capable of doing that yourself. I can't believe you. And I can't believe my powerful brother is now nothing but a joke. Enough. It's the truth. No, I want you to leave. You want me to go? Yes, out of Davenport, out of my life, you are nothing but trouble. Seriously? Linda, please go and do everyone a favor and don't come back. So his sister did all of this? Yes. I'm sorry. It's so frustrating. Now my former best friend is in jail and she hates me probably even more. I can tell you really want to make up with her. More than anything. You're a good person. I don't know about that. Don't be too hard on yourself. I think you're amazing. Jacob. I really do. We should get home. We really should. Don't worry. Everything will work out with you and Susan. I'm sure. Pete! Look out! Thank you.